I've been told I'm not exactly the brightest light bulb in the grocery store. Not exactly the fastest wheel in the museum, if you catch my drift. What it's like to live in a fast-paced world as a slow-brained monkey bitch. Let's talk. So I made a video a couple weeks ago called I'm Fake, and it's about how I feel fake in conversations. Sometimes people are talking to me, they're saying something that might be funny, and I'm just sort of laughing with them, even if I didn't understand what the hell they said. That's often what happens. Somebody, just because they start smiling while they're saying something, I start smiling, relating to them. It's like, oh yeah. And then like, sometimes I don't even hear what they said. And I'm like, <laughs> I know, eh? And it's almost less time wasted if I just laugh and pretend I heard what they said instead of asking them to say it again. I'm weird, but a lot of you related to that. And you're like, yeah, me too, man. We're monkeys. We're just mimicking facial expressions here and it's okay. But it made me think like, why do I do this? I think part of it is just human nature. We want to mimic and make people happy. And if someone smiles, it just, you have to smile almost. Some people can just stonewall you. Like you start smiling. Have you ever talked to someone like that? Like you're laughing and they're just like, they don't get it. It's like, humor me at least. Pretend, I'd rather you lied. But like, for me, I think it's partly that I'm so slow in the brain. If somebody says something to me, I want to think about it for a bit, but I feel like they don't have the patience for it. I might have had some conversations in the past where I'm, I'm thinking of something and then they're like in a rush, like, come on, like answer me already. It's like, if you say something to me, I'm just gonna ponder it a bit. It's like, yeah, okay. I, you're already walking away at this point. What's it like to be slow in a fast paced world that's lonely? It's even worse on the phone. If you start talking, you're saying something and you pause for a bit, then the other person thinks that's their turn to come chime in, but it's not. I was waiting and thinking of more and wonderful things to say. So like we have a very fast paced world, especially in my city. Toronto is insane. Nobody even looks up from their gate. They're just walking either at a phone they're looking or at their feet or straight ahead past you. It's rare to even catch a smile in this city, and I'm guilty of it too. I'm just going. Whenever I leave this house, I'm going somewhere fast, and I want to be there and back home without anything weird happening. No conversations, no just get me there and back. I'm going to get food, bring it home, boom, we're done. Socializing. My socializing is not hitting you on my scooter. Yeah. But I prefer a slower paced life slower conversations, nothing dramatic and fast and action packed. And we're talking about sports and I just want to be in nature 
sitting there for three days straight. And if a squirrel wants to talk, we'll talk telepathically. But sometimes I feel like I just, I don't relate to most people, at least in this city. I go out there, like my thoughts are how to heal the body, how to feel good. Can we exercise without injuring ourselves in the monkey strength way? Yes, we can. Available down below. Fasting, dry fasting, like imagine just walking up to somebody on the street like, hey, have you ever done a dry fast? They'd be like, what the hell is that? Dry fast? Like how do you dry your nails faster? Is that... That's what happens when you search on YouTube for dry fasting. It, you often get into this territory where it's like literal women drying their nails faster. It's not even what I was looking for. But I'm ready for some serious conversations about like how we've been lied to about everything. Is the Bible written by some evil Egyptian warlords pretending to be God? That kind of thing. Like how come that whole agenda in the 2020s that was weird huh did you fall for it did you get a little stabby stab i want to talk to people about this kind of stuff history our fake history what really happened is our world flat is the best diet a fruit and meat diet what what kind of possibilities do we even need food can we be breatharian do you gaze at the sun what is an eclipse what does that even mean is it like in our dome? These are the conversations where I feel like I'm walking down the street and people are literally still wearing Halloween masks just in the street, in the stores too. I'm like, it's been three or four years now. You see, like, have you not looked into it at all to end anything? The fluoride, do you drink fluoridated water on purpose? What are we doing here? I'm looking into things like, is income tax legal? And can we run the opposite direction? Was Thoth Jesus? Have you heard of Thoth? He could have been. He said he built the pyramids. Is that true? So all these are not very popular topics. And I don't get to talk about them very often in my daily life. But like, that's our world. It's a different scene. And people are into very different social media scrolling parties. Alcohol, people drink alcohol, still. I don't know what people do, but I want no part of it. And I just want to go out into nature and film squirrels with $10,000 equipment. And it's fun. So it can be tough to relate to people in this world, but we should love them anyway. We're not better than them. For my weird thoughts, you think I think I'm better than somebody because I think breatharianism is possible and Thoth is a pyramid sculptor no i'm not better i'm just weird and different and i like being different and it's enjoyable in this crazy world of just materialistic pleasures dopamine rushes and just meaningless pursuits and i will have no part of it i'll have all the part of it but whatever i'm just rambling at this point i have no idea what this video is about how you do you thumbing it up still i just feel slow in a fast-paced world, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no reason to thumb it down. The real reason you're thumbing it down is because when you talk to people, you look between their eyes. That's not even, there's no information there. Although if you look up into their third eye, you might be onto something. It might look weird if I did that to you. What if people just started looking and like, why are you looking at my forehead? I'm seeing your real thoughts because you're fake and I want to talk to the real you. So I'm looking and waiting for him to appear. Yeah. So there's that. I'll leave now. Subscribing for more videos now. Sorry.